Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pseudotech. Today we are going to be installing OpenSUSE, the operating system, onto a computer. I'm going to be installing it on my laptop through a bootable USB drive, and I'm going to take you along for the process so that if you're having some trouble installing the new operating system, then this will hopefully help you. Now OpenSUSE, or SUSE, or SUSE, there are plenty of ways to pronounce it, and the internet has enough debates on that, so I'm not going to go into it right now. But it's a great Linux operating system that I really like to use just because it's fairly simplistic and pretty customizable. You can go to the OpenSUSE website and then go down to the very bottom where they've got a little link that says Git Software, and that'll take you straight to the page where you can download the ISO file. We're also going to be using Rufus, which is a free utility that you can download from the link in the video description to put it onto our USB drive. I'm going to go through this process fairly quickly because I actually have another video on my channel which you can check out in the little card up in the corner to see exactly how you do this where I describe it in a little bit more detail. Once you've got the bootable USB drive, you can eject it from your computer and then plug it into the computer that you want to install OpenSUSE into. You're going to want to get to the boot menu, which for me was F12, and it's fairly similar for most computers, so just check with your motherboard specifications if you're unsure of that. Select the USB device, and you should be prompted for a boot menu with OpenSUSE. We're going to go ahead and select and press enter on the installation option to get into the installer, at which point it'll load the kernel. You'll see a little loading bar for a while, so just wait for it to go, and then it'll go to initializing and the license agreement. It's basically a matter of selecting your options and clicking next to finally get to the install process. During this time, you're going to set up your user, your username, password, time zone, keyboard, and also you're going to format your hard drive. Keep in mind that this will also delete all the stuff on your hard drive unless you select an option that's going to keep the current partition. Either way, be careful what you do here because especially if you're not very versed in formatting hard drives, it could accidentally format your hard drive and you could lose all your data. For that reason, I'm just going to be installing it onto the entire partition. It'll wipe all the data, which is fine because I have nothing important on there. At the end, it'll give you an overview of all your options, so make sure everything's correct there, and then go ahead and click Next to continue the installation process. This will probably take 15 to 30 minutes depending on your computer and what you're installing, so just sit back and relax while it installs the software. When it's all finished, it'll prompt you to reboot, so go ahead and reboot while it's rebooting. Unplug the USB drive from your computer, and it should boot from the hard drive into the OpenSUSE operating system. And there you are. You should be greeted by the OpenSUSE operating system, which is all good to go and ready to do whatever you want to do with Linux. If you're wondering what you should do with Linux, then make sure to go check out my channel, because I have quite a few videos up there on projects you can do with Linux, including OpenSUSE and other operating systems. Either way, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.